Hey guys, Spencer here and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. Today, I'm going to be going over this poison I just got, the Crystallized Fang Venom. Crystallized Fangs Venom? I don't know, I got it from the Keeper, it's a white bag, it's an event white technically, so pretty sick. Got him, here we go, here we go, here we go. White bag! Crystallized Fanged Venom. Damn, dude. But yeah, let's hop right into it here and have a look if it's shit or not. Okay, so this poison actually has a smaller radius than most, if not all poisons, um, except for like the weird ST ones. Um, and it does less damage than most. See, this does 900. This does 500. Um, and it's... It takes a long time to throw as well, uh, compared to these, so kind of shit by that standard, but there's one thing that it does. Sorry, I just had to collect all my shitty exalt tokens there. Um, there's one thing that it does that sets it apart from everything else, which is the fact that it armor breaks. So it's basically a Ogma. Anyway, it uses the same amount of MP as a tiered tier 6 poison, um, but it also gives you 4 attack and 4 dex, which is pretty good if you're going to be doing things like rock dragons like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Look at that armor break, oh my god. If only there were other people here to do damage to it. It's very hard to hit this poison. It's very hard to see where it goes to. There we go, oh, exalt tokens, epic. So this is pretty useful on enemies with high def, obviously. I think this guy has high def. Oh, all the things in here have really high def. So I guess this would be good for the, the parasite chambers. So you don't have to push those barrels around. Ooh, look at that armor break. Oh my god, too good. So this item actually has a pretty long history of changes to it. It used to do a bunch of other things. On testing it was like completely different, it would just give you 30 attack and like minus 40 death or something, it was like ridiculous. And they've changed it like 5 times since. So this is it shit video, it might be outdated soon if they decide to change it again, but I doubt it, because it's, it's pretty balanced right now to be honest. Look at that. Beauty. Do, do. Doo -doo -doo. I just go in every sprite world I see now because of the music. On God. Oh my God. Yo, that's too good. Can I even hold all these? I have so many swap outs, it's like ridiculous. Okay, so you know the deal. If we get a quat, Quiver of Thunder, then this item is officially not shit. And I got zero. So I guess that's the end of the video. Just kidding, I don't give up that easy. Let's fuck up these gods, come on. Come here. Ow, ow, oh my god. Etherite sucks, dude, I need a good dagger. What about these guys? These guys have high def. Ooh, can I kill him? No, I, I still can't kill him. Okay. Let's see how Murky Toxin compares. This is the one from the Toxic Sewers. I feel like the best way to use these poisons would be to armor break a boss first and then switch over to this poison and you just rape. Only if there's other people in the dungeon. If there's no other people in the dungeon then I, I doubt it's even worth using the armor breaking one at all to be honest. Oh, I guess it gives you that 4 attack and 4 dex though. Hmm. It's a bit of a doozy. Let's try out this UDL. Traps don't show up on Exalt on the ground, so I gotta be a bit wary. But I think we'll be fine. I am a professional Realm of the Mad God player, after all. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna break all these motherfuckers. I didn't even hit the boss? Okay, that's actually really difficult to hit. I need to be very precise. The splash radius looks pretty big, but maybe I'm just terrible at aiming. 
Hello? Can I perm my armor break or not? Oh, sick, dude. Alright. We're on US Midwest 2 now, because that's where my guildies are. Let's see if I can find them. Okay, there's a keeper in here. None of my guildies are anywhere to be found. Come on, come on. 30 seconds, please, please, please. Don't die yet. I need to get my actual Ogma. Come on. What phase is he on? Oh. He's getting there. He's close, he's close. Oh my god, dude. Oh, so close. Didn't get a single hit. Alright, well, at least we can do this shatters. This poison's probably good for these switches. Hey, look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm lagging out. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? I did not want to get fucked up by that ice here. Well, here we go, crystal. I haven't got a white bag from a crystal in so long. Like, years. And that remains the same way. Don't stay sit, you fuckwit. Alright, see ya. Okay, here we go. At the boss. If we get a leaf bow, this poison is 100% not shit. I already have leaf bows though. I actually want that ST bow more than anything. So we gotta find that T room. Ooh, double bag. Look at that. Beauty. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take it. Wait, did they just kill it? Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I really hate Assassin. That's why it only has 700 fame. And it's been alive for probably five years. I only play it when I'm doing a dirty tomb and I don't really want to do anything. I just want to stand there and press spacebar. I haven't done a puppet in phew, ages. Years, mate. Whoa, there's ninjas in here now? Are you kidding me? Alright, don't worry guys, I'll armor break him. We're good. Oh my god, too easy. Come on, shoot him. Oh. I forget that it only lasts for four seconds. Only one doing damage here. Let's go. Why is that guy at boss? Pee bag? Don't worry guys, I've got him. This man's armor is gone. You can armor yourself? No. Broken. Get fucked. Oh my god, too good. Okay, this boss is really good with this poison. <gasps> On the real, I should probably vault and put this stuff away so I can actually pick up my white bags when I get them. Let's see. Check these. These. Yeah, five slots. That's all I need. Alright. Okay, so honestly, the fun factor of just being able to armor break shit and see the, the purple text above their head makes it not shit. I think I would use this poison as a main if I actually played Assassin, but Assassin's just kind of a boring class to be honest. Let's buff this and piss some people off. Buff him with armor break. Oh damn it. Can I not armor break him? What happened? Oh, you can't land poisons when they're invulnerable. Forgot about that. So Ogma is definitely better in that regard because I'm like 99% sure you can armor break something that's invulnerable. Okay, I'm really lagging out. Look at this. Look at my map. Everything's just like... This is pretty epic. This is what Exalt does to me now. It just, uh... <sighs> makes me rubber band and get disconnected. I mean, it is my internet. My internet cuts out for a second, and then it just completely shits itself. Ooh, this realm's on two liches. Alright, we're gonna do an Oryx with this. We're gonna do a Keeper too, hopefully. So I've been seeing everyone getting these event wipes from this boss, like Ogma and Seadurk and all this crazy stuff. Come on! What? What is that? Can't pass incoming message? Are you kidding me? What does that even mean? I need to get back in there before this realm closes. <sighs> okay, I made it. Exalt, man, I'm telling you. Exalt. Please let me pass the incoming message. Come on. And let me hit these poisons. Jeez. It's like so difficult. This 
Especially on this guy, because he just spazzes out everywhere. But yeah, I keep seeing people getting all, all these crazy event wipes from this boss. And what do I get? <sighs> Crystallized Fangs Venom. <sighs> yeah, I get armor broken. I can't even hit him. So I get in close, I get confused. Oh. Where's he going? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that actual Ogma. Give me the Ogma. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Ooh. It's shit. It's shit. This poison is shit. So I really hope I don't get DC'd here because this is going to be the best place to use this poison. On the Stone Guardians and on Oryx, Janus even. Oh my god. Mm. See, this is why I don't play an Exalt. They tell me, oh, why aren't you playing an Exalt? Play an Exalt. I say, no, I, I get DC. They say, oh, psh, doesn't happen. It happens. Constantly. Non-stop. It didn't used to happen non-stop. But now it does. And I don't know why. Are these alien portals? Oh shit, they are. Yo. Let's try that green one. Come on, let's get some boys in here. Let's go. Forex gang. There's like no one in here. Come on. Alright. Whatever. I'll solo it. I don't care. Oh! Okay. Well then. This actually does a lot of damage. Uh. Oh, yo, 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 chill, dude. That's a purple guy. Purple man. How can I not armor break him? Bruh. There we go. Yeah, it's hard to hit things when they're chasing you. Solitary life form detected. That's me. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, look at that. Armor broken. It's too good. Oh. Purple boy. Uh. Ooh. Oh my god. Too good. How do I do it? Okay, this poison takes so long to throw. I need to throw it way out in front of me. For it to actually hit. And even then, it's like... Here we go. <laughs> These guys are like ridiculous. I have to just like stand here and throw poisons at them. I can't even get close. The armor breaking ones are definitely not the way to go. Yeah, see, situations like this, it's definitely better to use this poison. If he's not coming at you and there's no one else around, don't use this one. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, uh. Help, 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 help. There's two of these stacked on top of each other. Ow! Yo! <gasps> no, 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 no. These things are, like, ridiculous. Oh, I got my vip pot. Okay. See, this one throws two poisons, and the middle one does heaps of damage. One of them has smaller range than the other one, but if you hit the middle one, the small range one, you just obliterate everything. 
I don't know how many more waves of this I can handle. Come on. Almost there. Beautiful. Alright, what's next? Big boss boy? Oh, this is the actual boss. Can I actually just stand here and not do anything? Oh my god. This is too good. But what about this one? That armor break. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hitting hundreds. 125. Critical hit. Okay, that is definitely not worth using. <laughs> oh. So if you're in a group of people, and no one has Ogma, and no one else has this, then it's really good. Or, if you're forced to be doing damage with your dagger, then it's really good, because of the dex and attack. However, if you're in a situation like this, it's shit. That's basically all there is to it. We're going to see if we get a nifty little white bag here from doing absolutely nothing but pressing the spacebar. That'd be pretty good content, if you ask me. Content, baby. This is the second one of these dungeons that I've ever done, by the way, so... Gotta give me some credit here. Assassin might be the best class to solo this on. Oh, come on. Don't go invulnerable like that. You know you don't want to be invulnerable like that. Almost there. So close. Let's go. <gasps> oh! What is this? What is this? Foramite staff? Yo, what? How? What is this? I don't know what this is. It's a reskin of something, but I don't know what it is. How? Dude, it's not shit. This poison is, uh, is real good. Except I, I got it with the murky toxin, so I mean... Oof, I don't know, but... Either way, Murky Toxin is obviously not shit, just because of that. And the fact that I used this to help me out in that dungeon and then got this white bag, it goes to show that it's not shit. Oh, there's a ghost ship over here. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what that staff is. I don't know if it's good or not. I mean, I'm pretty sure it must be good if it's a white bag that drops from there. Because pretty much everything that drops from those alien dungeons is a reskin of something that's pretty good. What is this staff? I need to look it up right now. Let's see. Okay, so it's a reskin of the Spirit Staff, and I have no idea what that is. So let's check out the Spirit Staff. Drops from the Fountain Spirit. Okay, so... Well, I guess I'll have to do an Is It Shit video on this staff next. Since I don't know whether it's shit or not. <laughs> oh my god. Exalt. Is it shit? Yes. It seems to be getting progressively more shit as I play on it. I don't know if it's because this is a standalone launcher and I was playing on Steam before. But, I don't know. I keep getting DC'd and it kind of is starting to piss me off. But, I did get a white bag from that solo, so it made it worth it. <sighs> I'm so glad, because that took so long and if I didn't get a white bag, I would have been kind of salty for like the rest of the day. But, hey, it all worked out great. Amazing. So yeah, is it shit? Crystallized fangs venom? No, it's not shit. It's pretty useful in a lot of situations, but like I said before, it's best when you're in groups of other people and no one has Ogma, no one else has this, uh, or when you're just forced to be using your dagger for damage. Like you're up close on enemies and you're getting a lot of hits in and there's people killing it really fast and you don't have time to throw poisons then it's probably better to do that. But I mean, if you don't have time to throw poisons, these ones do a lot more damage over time than this would anyway, so it's kind of up to you. Do you like to see purple numbers over enemies' heads? I know I do. It's very satisfying. So that's the reason I use it. Also, it looks super sick in my inventory like this, part of my set. So good. I don't know about the spectral cloth. I might have to switch that out for a worm hide or something, but it's not shit. This is pretty good. So go get yourself one, 
go get those keepers while they're still in the realm. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.